If you're headed to Maui and you want to find some reptiles and amphibians, then this is the video for you. The first reptile on the list is the brown anole. These guys are everywhere. Basically, if you don't find an anole, then you must not have gone outside. I would guess that I probably found about a hundred in the week that I was there. The next lizard on the list is the Asian house gecko. In order to find these cute little guys, your best bet is to look around buildings at night. They love to come out at night and hang around areas of light. You can also take a look during the day and see if you spot their poo, usually on the side of the wall next to the light. If so, come back at night and it's almost a sure find. Next on the list is my favorite gecko species, the gold dust day gecko, otherwise known as the gecko gecko. These were not nearly as common as on the big island. I actually heard that the locals are killing them because they don't like their poo that they leave behind at the resort areas. Kind of sad and unfortunate. I got lucky to find this one at the farmer's market in Kihei. They can be found most common up and down the west coast of Maui. Your best bet is probably the resort areas along Waialea up to Kihei. The Jackson's Chameleon. I mean, who doesn't want to find a chameleon? In order to catch a glimpse of one of these awesome lizards, you have to head up to the upcountry of Maui. A lot of the local parks are a great place to find them, as well as the botanical areas. I happened to be on a date at the Oo Farms with my wife when she spotted this guy climbing on the coffee plant. And now for the one amphibian species that was spotted. Out of the hotel here in Maui to go look for some cane toads. They usually like to hang out uh, near the golf courses. And we're right by a golf course, so I'm gonna go check it out. All right, so we are at the start of the golf course. Oh, and that didn't take long. There's one. Like I said earlier, check out the golf courses or any open grassy areas like resort lawns, but they usually have to have some sort of structure nearby like bushes, trees, or rocks. These are the areas that the toads will burrow by during the day until they come out at night. And usually if you find one, you'll find a lot more. In just half an hour of searching, I ended up seeing nearly 50 cane toads. And now we get to the reptile that most people actually want to find and see in Hawaii, the green sea turtle. Unlike the previous animals shown in this video, this one is a native species. The area of Ho'okipa Beach is very well known and actually has a protected wall to keep people farther away from disturbing them. The sea turtles have a designated area where they can rest and bask. There are two ways to see a sea turtle. One way you can find them is up on land, where they bask and rest for a bit. Pretty much every day, turtles came up on the beach at Honokahua Bay. They would come up and rest for a few hours before returning to the ocean. And that's the second way you can find them. You gotta get your snorkeling gear on and go get your feet wet. Turtles can be found pretty much anywhere around Maui, but some of the best places are around Waialea, Kanapali, and Kapalua. I was fortunate enough to swim with multiple turtles at Black Rock Beach. 